Today's do-it-yourself feature is brought to you by My Guy Referrals. For all of life's needs, visit MyGuy.com. It's time for do-it-yourself with Abrielle Fab Ab, as we like to call her, and today it's all about natural remedies for headaches. Right. So everybody loves essential oils, mm -hmm. and I don't know what it is about this week, but it's an extra long week, and everybody is tired. They're that. stressed out. They have headaches, whatnot. So that is what inspired me to do this do-it-yourself today. It's very simple. All you need is coconut oil, my favorite. It's yes. natural, great mm -hmm. for so many different things, and then you need essential oils. So. I got lavender oil, and then I got some frankincense oil. What's and frankincense? That's a good question. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know how to describe the scent of it. Okay. Um, but we're on a double screen right now. Okay. <laughs> Um, it just it's like a dream nice. within a dream. Yeah, okay. so it promo I'll tell you what each of them do in just okay. a second. Let All me right. just tell the ingredients. Okay. And then we have peppermint oil. All you have to do is you take a double broiler. You put a couple of inches of water in the bottom mm -hmm. pot. You put it on the stove on medium heat. Put your one-fourth cup of coconut oil in the top pot. Okay. You let it melt. And then all you do is you do, um, for the lavender, you do like 20 drops of lavender. Um, 15 drops of frankincense and then like 10 drops of peppermint because the peppermint's really strong. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't totally matter, but you just put it in the melted coconut oil, mix it together, and then I bought this cute little um, container I tin. Love that at, uh, I think it was like in the spice section of Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay. You know, so very simple. Um, so what each of them does, the peppermint I is like that already. a numbing sem sensation. So it alleviates stress and it reduces tension, which when you have a headache, you know how it makes your whole body just yes, tense? Yes, it aches. Yes, it aches. So um, you're going to take this and you're going to rub it on your temples and so it goes right to the pain point. Mm -hmm. um, the frankincense promotes relaxation and it also reduces pain and inflammation. Okay. And and then the lavender, everybody knows lavender is relaxing. It Very also relaxing. kind of helps with reducing the tension, helping you just relax, settle down. So the last little pointer on this is it comes out and it's kind of, it's like literally a little balm and you're going to just rub it on your fingers together and then you rub it on your temples. You want to? It's been a long week. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us are like, oh my gosh. Uh, and as you can see, it does get pretty oily pretty quickly right. just with the heat. Uh -huh. So they say not to put it in the fridge. Um, I put it in the fridge though because for some reason it's not even hot outside and it turned to oil right away oh, and it wouldn't okay. solidify. So be careful with that. So be careful with that. Put it in the fridge for a couple minutes, take it out, and then it'll be this balm and you can rub it. And then it feels good. It feels Ooh, refreshing. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go, go to aztv.com for more details if you missed any of that. And right now, Danielle's going to take it away with the Wild West Fest. <laughs> We're